I'm Felicia, and I'm out to collect some berries. These are pokeweeds. What are you doing with them? These berries here, we boil in hot water. They'll make you poop if you eat them, and I think they kill you, right? Well, you can eat a certain amount. Beyond a certain amount, about nine, then yes, you can get very sick. They could possibly kill you. Um, but these, we're gonna boil in hot water, and then we're gonna soak our wool in it, and it will turn a beautiful pink, kind of like my fingers here. Yeah, ruining all my stuff. It's my good <laughs> coat. Come on, babe, you're ruining my good coat. Well, need the berries. It's work for wintertime, so we have some wintertime crafts to do with the kids to keep them busy, because, you know, once the weather goes icky, they're all gonna play that they keep cold. And there's no better way than to find some stuff in your backyard to use. Right? And what color are you getting out of that? It's the same thing. Depending on... Yeah, it's not going to be like the cranberries, though, where it makes the whole house smell like poop. No, that made us the house smell like um, dirty shoe locker. Yeah. No, these ones don't smell. So what drove you to want to do this? Uh, well... I like to spin wool. I like to collect wool off of our English Angora rabbits. Uh, I got a couple of friends with some sheep and goats that I've been getting some wool from. And why not experiment and have fun with it? Besides that, the kids love learning about this stuff. Um, it's all natural. You don't have to worry about um, getting dyes from stores and stuff. You can find it right in your backyard, depending on where you live. And besides that, I mean, what's cooler than being able to be self-sufficient, right? Yeah. So we will bit by bit every day. Yep. So we will bag these up in freezer bags with the stems and put them in the freezer. And that way this winter we can pull them out when we have enough wool or other type of wool we want to dye a pretty, well, pink color. Yep, going to ruin my coat. So, what is this project all about, Kaylee? Because this is your fair project, right? Yes. Um, we are using plants and natural things out that you can find in your backyard. And we are dyeing wool with them. Okay. So, what plants do we have today that we are going to show people? Is there a sign? I forgot. Uh, these are poke Pokeberries. Yep. These, I believe, I think they're red maple. Right? Yes, they are. Yep. So, what do we do? We boiled them, right? Yeah, we took all the berries or vine of these okay. and the leaves. We put them in water, and after a while, the color started to boil out of them. So, and that's how we got the colors. Okay. Mm -hmm. We got... Let's see... We got pink and... Uh, I don't think that's pink. No. It looks this is like a magenta. It's, what is this? Okay. What is this? That's just what we... That's the solution. Yep, that's the solution. So what do we have in the solution? Uh, Sometimes we do it differently. This time I believe we have alum, white vinegar, and water. Do we, we have lemon juice? Yep, we also have lemon juice in it. And then what is this, Talia? What's this right here? Um, mold. Mold? <laughs> <laughs> it's rust, right? Yeah. Yeah? It's so what color does rust tend to make your wool? Brown? Yeah, it gives you more colorful browns. It helps create more lovely brown colors is what your card says, Talia. <laughs> Okay, so what we're gonna do is we have these were already soaked. Okay, so we have Shetland sheep and we have, well, mystery sheep because this is what Kaylee's using on her project for her poster. I got some MSU from Fair. There was a whole bunch of wool in a bag, and the teacher said, take whatever you want. So I got black, white, which is that, and some gray mixture. Okay, so what I want you to do, Kaylee, is I want you to 
dump the pokeberry into this jar here. This is why they're on trays, because the pokeberry is really messy. And we're going to let them sit for a couple of days. So we will update on this video after they sat for Maybe a while. Well, last time that. we let it soak for five days. Five days? Yeah. Okay. You might want to just push it down a little bit. Okay, so she's got that pushed down because you don't want any air pockets. Mm -hmm. All right, now Talia, you're going to do the leaves. I want you to fill that up. And Stuff. No, it's water. It's alright. It has water in it. <laughs> it kind of looks like maple syrup. Yes, it does, actually. Whoa! That's cool. Now we put them in these jars so that you can see the progress. <laughs> yeah, the progress of it. it. Um, this is our first time actually dyeing uh, spun wool. You know so we'll see how it goes. This smells like corn. Okay, that's probably good, Talia. One more. One more. Can you see the spoon? These are what the poke berries look like. Um, these are poisonous. Um, you don't want to consume them. You don't want to eat them at all. Uh, they can make you really sick and poop for days. And then here's the maple leaves. Um, we actually picked these up today. Um, I went to go pick up Kaylee and my youngest, Wyatt, from a friend's house. And we seen them in somebody's yard. And we stopped and I made her go ask for some. Yeah, she made me. I walked up there. I was like, why you do this to me? I don't know who these people are. But because it's her project, yes, I made her do it. She needs to learn. Luckily, they were nice people, not some weird people. Like people who, um. So, Clara, what I want you to do. Yes. So, it's you to take this jar. I take this jar. Hold it. <laughs> We're going to wring it out. Okay, so I'm pull out the wool. Pull out the wool. Oh, Kaylee can. <laughs> She's freaking out. She's like, I don't like it. So, any of you guys. All right, dump, Claire, dump the jar into... Oh, wait, there's more in there. Oh, is there? Yeah. See, the rust has already made it kind of a... a peachy color. Yeah, a peachy, brownie color. Like, like that skin color. I wish, I wish it would actually show it better on this phone. It's more yellow on the phone, but um, in person, it's more peach. It's more, if you know what that crayon um, peach colored crayon... Okay, Claire, dump that into that the bucket over like. here. Okay, put these back in it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add some of this to this jar. Nope, not yet. This smells like sweet corn. So, because it's going to turn stuff a little more of a brown color, we're going to go ahead and try it with the leaves, the maple leaves, to see what color we get. It's now, so much these are the wools we're using. Again, this is English and Gore rabbit wool. This is from Talia's rabbit. What's his name? Jack Skelton. Yep. And um, Kaylee's mystery <laughs> wool. We think it's merino. Or like... I believe it's that's how you say alpaca? it. Well, it's not sheep. alpaca. It's this type of sheep. Um, and then we have Shetland that we got from a nice lady down the road. This we got raw, so you'll see a video on all that. So now we're just going to sit here and let it go for a couple of days, and then we will get back to everybody. So everybody say bye until next time. Bye. bye.